Here's a very interesting test. Uh, for those of you that use Panasonic P2, um, I was deciding what should I get. Should I get the AJPCD35 for, what, $2,400? Or should I just get maybe uh, five AJPCD2s? And I was uh, told that the 35 is much faster. That's what you read about. So I ended up buying both of them, and I ran this test so that you could see the difference right here. Um, you can see that this 16-minute clip, this, no, this is a 6-minute clip um, on the uh, 35, finished in 56 seconds. And you actually see it running right there. That's real time. Sorry about all the jittering on the video, but that's just the way my little screen capture program captured it. Um, what I'm going to do next, and you'll see in just a moment here, uh, that test is finished, and it ingested 6 minutes, 16 seconds, uh, in a total time of 56 seconds. Now, we're going to move over, and we are now, I'm, I have connected up the AJPCD2, and you can see it's pictured right there. That's a single bay unit, same exact card, same exact clip. And I don't know what I'm going to tell you for the next 2 minutes and 16 seconds other than the fact that um, it was 56 seconds versus 2 minutes and 16 seconds. I don't know, you do the math, it's maybe about 2.5 times uh, as fast. Now, in my situation, I do a lot of uh, stage shows that are long, uh, sometimes 2 hours long. Come back with uh, 6 P2 cards, all you know, very much filled up in 1080i and have to digitize all that and if i'm using these uh, uh, ajpcd2s even if i have multiple of them going uh, sometimes it takes me three hours or more to bring all that in the other unit the 35 goes uh, three times as fast and to me that's a lot of time um, saved and a lot of time I could be editing rather than just sitting there watching my computer clock. So you can see it's still dragging on. Um, I've tried the duo adapter. I've tried my cameras. And everything else that's out there, uh, the AJPCD35 is indeed the fastest way to ingest your P2 media. Reliable every time. Uh, I think if there was any complaint I had on it, it's just a little bit wanky. Um, you don't have to do anything really to make it see the P2 cards, except you have to. You do have to launch your uh, your computer with the unit plugged in, and then it sees the cards. It uh, that's the only advantage I can see under the AJPCD2 that I noticed on that unit. Um, it uh, if you pop a card in, then you can just eject the card. You don't have to shut the machine off. But that must have something to do with the internal way that the 35 is hooked up.